Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Elle and today we have the next update for the Fantasy Self Showdown palette, Project Pan. I partnered up with Becca Hope. I will have her links down below. And it, this project is created by Haley and Laura. I will, of course, have both of them also linked down below. Um, but yeah. Our rules are that we are picking nine shadows and we are gonna use them ten times to roll them out. And um, yeah, I'm sorry to say I don't have any rollouts for this month. Um, I would probably have if I wasn't working as a volunteer in the World Championships in Wrestling for 10 days straight in the beginning of October. Um, so yeah, those 10 days I only used one shadow and some mascara, if even that. Um, so my makeup usage this month is not as high as I would have liked, but that's how life is. Um, but I'm back doing makeup almost every day. Um, so yeah, let's jump right on in to this palette. And I'm holding it backwards, of course. So this is what my palette is looking like. It's very dark, um, which is fine. I don't mind a dark palette. Uh, it's just not easy to use multiple shades from this palette in the same look. Um, so yeah, let's go through it all. I have only used three of the shadows for a total usage of five times since the last month. Um, not good. And there's still one shadow I haven't touched that has been in here since the introduction. Yikes. Um, so let's just go through it all, shall we? First up, this heart-shaped pan is from Colourpop and Soella Brunch Date palette. It's the shade Skinny Latte. I have only used it once and I haven't used it any times this past month. Then we have Give Me Glow Cosmetics Gifts Galore. And again, this has only been touched once, but not over the past month. Then we have Lethal Stargaze. This one I rolled in last month and I have touched it twice since then. So that's good. It's a really dark blue, if you're wondering. Uh, it's really pretty. Lethal shimmers are stunning on the lids. The mattes are as well, but the shimmers really do pack a punch, so that's awesome. Then we have another Give Me Glow Cosmetics shade. This is Purple Hills. Just a really stunning, darker purple shimmer. Um, also rolled in last update, and I have used it once. So, yay. Then we have Colourpop. This one is from the Mint to Be palette and it's the shade Mojito Mami. And I have used it twice over the past month, one of them being today as an inner corner and brow bone highlight. Uh, so I have used this a total of four times and I do have a small dip forming. Um, so it will be an inner corner highlight for those days I'm wearing greens because I do have quite a good amount of green shadows in Project Pants currently. Uh, some with 10 usage goals, some with 15, some with 
the gold to hit a pan. Um, so it will be a nice accent color. And I only have six more usage uses to go and I might be able to hit pan on it. We shall see. Then we have Natasha Denona Seed. This one has been in here since the introduction and I haven't used it the past month but so far I have touched this one three times so seven more to go then we have from the Kaleidos Futurism 5 Electro Turquoise palette this is the shade Wired uh, this one and that one is really similar um, so my focus is on the Natasha Denona shadow instead of the Kaleidos shadow shadow Oh my god, shadow! There we go. Um, and this one rolled in last month. Um, and I haven't used it. This one is from the Morphe 25A palette. They didn't have any name, so I just named it Yellow Gold. Because it's a yellow gold shadow. And this is the one I've had in since the introduction. And still haven't used it. Yikes. Um, I need to use it, but I'm really focusing in on a gold that is in my 21 in 2021. It's the one I'm wearing today, actually, um, that I want to finish. So this one is getting a backseat for now. Lastly, but not least, a Colourpop single shadow. This is the shade Tiny Nugget, and it's a pressed glitter. Um, again, this one was rolled in last update, and again, I have not touched it. So currently, I have three shadows in this palette that I haven't touched. Um, so, yeah. The one with the most uses currently is the Mojito Mami shade with four. Then we have Natasha Denona Seed with three. Uh, Lethal Stargaze with two. And then there's a three-way tie with Skinny Latte, Gifts Galore, and Purple Hills with one usage each. Um, so I would love to hit my 10 usage goal on the Colourpop Mojito Mami shade and the Natasha Denona Seed shade so that we can have two more rollouts for the next update. Um, correct me down below, Becca, but are we planning to have a finale in December? Is that a plan? I'm not sure. Uh, we haven't really talked about it, I guess. Um, so yeah, that is my nine shadows. Um, I have already rolled out seven shades that I hit my goal on. And out of those seven, four of them I hit pan on as well. Um, so that's exciting and yeah, go check out the others and hopefully I will have two rollouts for next month. If I hit pan on the Mojito Mommy shade before the 10 usage goal, it will just be rolled out. But yeah, that is my fantasy self showdown palette really boring update i'm really sorry i've just not been using makeup as much over the past month um for good reasons but yeah it's been taking a toll on all of my projects um so that's not good but it's always fun doing something new and it was really fun being a volunteer in the World Championships. So, 
yeah i hope you enjoyed and i hope i will see you again in the next video bye